Hello, uh, I'm David Guns from Guns Bakery at Sandy. Um, a traditional family bakery, been in Sandy just about 80 years this year. And uh, in that time, we've uh, produced many things, not least these uh, Bedfordshire Clangers, which is a combination of uh, suet pastry with um, uh, a meat and a sweet filling inside. So perhaps it was the original fast food. Yeah, so our bakery that's been in Sandy um, for these 80 years, we've also got other shops. We've got a shop in Biggleswade, been there 20, 25 years, I think, and one in Bedford that's been there probably about 10 years. As with all local family businesses, you know, our staff are probably one, about our strongest asset, and many of them have been with us for a number of years. Two of my main bakers have been here 25 years. Um, with other ladies from you know around Sandy that have been with us perhaps 6, 10, 15 years. Some of the shop staff have been you know, quite a long time. In fact, probably our longest working person, whose father used to do one of our bread rounds, uh, Gerald, he's been helping on a Friday night make the bread for probably over 40 years. And as regards the new state of affairs with staff, for several years now we've had an exchange policy with some foreign bakers from the continent. Okay, well once we've got all our ingredients um, sort of put to one side and we've got them all sourced, when we come to make the dough first, and this is a, a suet pastry dough, so quite a good proportion of, um, well, we use a Torah um, suet in that, and here the dough's all being mixed together to produce a nice homogenous mass at the end that we can then divide up into pieces uh, to make all each of the clangers. So the filling for the what we call our traditional uh, Bedfordshire clanger would be a combination of like gammon, ham, and potato, onions, and some salt and pepper, and we've got a nice uh, special gravy here that we put with it, and that's all sort of mixed up together, as, as you can see, to make this nice filling to go in the savoury side. Through the year, we do a, a turkey-based one for Christmas, we do a breakfast-based one clanger, and we do a vegetarian one, don't we? That's yes, very we popular, isn't it? They're all popular in their own way, they are. Uh, and in the other side we've got some nice chopped up apple in a little apple sauce to go in the sweet side, so that completes the, uh, the filling for the clangers. Yeah, so then the pastry we, we take to one side and we chop into equal sized pieces, roll them out, and then we're ready to uh, incorporate our filling into the, into the pastry. And then of course it's the rolling up process. Once we've got our filling in, we roll up the clanger to, to seal it and we put it on a tray and we wash it with a brush with a little bit of egg wash and then we give it um, a couple of distinctive markings so that everybody knows the sweet end from the savoury, quite an important part of it. And then to the oven it goes for a nice bake. So, this is the finished product then, Bedfordshire Clanger. Have a little look at this. Oozing with delicious filling. Why not come and try one? Really good for you, really famous, really special. There's tasty for you.